Hello, my name is Jay, and I've calculated what the estimated um, benchmark should be, what the estimated frame rate should be um, of this new 2080 card. And I want to make a point real quick by saying that, number one, this is an estimate, but it should be pretty dang close. Number two, I'm going to be stopping at the 2070, and I'm not going to be, I've been doing a kind of like these series with three, I guess, uh, doing the tw uh, 2080 Ti, the 2080, and I'll be stopping at the 2070 simply because the 2070 is one of those cards that you can pretty much verify 100% accuracy what the results will be because simply it's just you just test your 1080 Ti or the previous top tier model, and that's pretty much equivalent to the 2070. But um, at the middle of this uh, video, I have all the benchmarks you can skip through if you don't want to hear me talk about like what's going to be expected what the features are um you know some of the stuff that you may not know starting with like price range and things like that you're going to skip ahead but i do recommend you watch this because it is kind of important so first off you don't know and i'm going to be making a video on this as well the price range for this sucker this sucker is going to be probably around uh 1500 now that might be top tier or may might be top tier 10 2080 ti and may not be relevant but it might it will be somewhere around an equivalent or slightly more than the current 20 or the current 1080. And if you think about it, the reason why before you go comment something like you have no idea what you're talking about, please hear the logic out in this. Let's be honest. Do we want if you were a company owner, if you were the person that was in charge of AMD and Intel and you were planning to release this new product, would you want to price your stuff um, below well, well, well below like at $700 MSRP, and this is referring for a 10, top of the line, so it'd be a 2080 Ti, or would you want to price it where your past generation card is going for is almost like 1300 depending on the card, up to upwards of 2000 So think about it for a second. That's not really logical, and you're missing out on a lot of money you could make. So let's be honest. These cards are not going to be cheap. And if you have a 1080 Ti, I would not be worried about losing your spot as the biggest and greatest, because if someone has a 20 excuse me, 2080 Ti, uh, or 2080 depending, they're still going to have forked out more than your probably system was altogether. So the point of me saying that is pretty much that. Now let me get into the math behind me testing this. So basically I went through, I had a couple friends run some benchmarks for me. And I have, that's why I did the last video. I had a friend actually run benchmarks on his card to verify that I've ran benchmarks on my card. And then he switched out his card and had some other cards run. So there was a lot of good benchmarks that were done here. Um, but I did use a lot of the internet as well to get some of these frame rates because I don't have some of these cards. Uh, I have a couple top tier cards, but that's about it from the couple past generations, maybe the top last two. And I had to go ask around and also find the internet. So the, be warned, these are not my personal benchmarks. Some of these are not my personal benchmarks to base off of, but we'll see what we get from there. So the math behind this was pretty much you take the top uh, tier kind of card uh, or the, the 2080 or the 1080 sorry and you test it and it should be around the 2080 should be around 30% to 20% better. Now before you do that I also went through and tested the past couple cards or found benchmarks with past couple cards to make sure you could see if there was like a curve or something like that because some games really do are, are really picky and they sometimes optimize, sometimes don't. So you've really got to kind of keep in mind. And that also brings me to the last point is that some of these benchmarks may not be accurate the first day that it's released simply because you can't have optimizations if you don't have a card. And especially these game makers that are trying to push updates for stuff they don't have yet. It's kind of difficult to say. So the last thing I just said was the math is just based off of the curve. And so based off of what it looked like it was going to do. And this is obviously there's, I mean, I multiply it times, you know, give it like 30% more, add that back on there. So you'd be looking at a 30% increase over the past generation and then I'd make sure you know there wasn't anything different if there was something other than that and you know what the data suggested then of course that changed a little bit I also did take off five percent of the overall curve of the overall um, frame rate simply because ampere is supposed to be or uh, I forget um, turn in I believe is the other possible name for it is basically going to be um, a little more of a power saving uh, GPU rather than um, from what the rumors say online so I'm just going to account for that um, obviously it may not, and that means you just get 5% more, so keep that in account. Um, but pretty much that may mean that you have um, a little bit of a decrease in performance. So that's why I, I automatically accounted for that, and that's why I put a little range as well, so that way it could be a little bit. That's why I include ranges, because you can't ever be exact. Because someone that can sit down and say, it's going to be, I don't know, 533 frame rates, uh, that's hard to tell. And I just give ranges. And of course this may not be right at all, because depending on like what releases and I mean, I would obviously expect something that's going for 1,500 compared to, you know, should be a lot, almost triple, because I got this card back here for 700 bucks, and I would assume it should be at least double performance. So, 
we will have to see. This will be a very interesting year um, for all the people. But let's get into the benchmarks. Sorry to bore you to death, but I do want to get that stuff out of the system, and that, of course, will be a separate video on my channel, but um, talking more in depth about that stuff. But um, thank you for watching, and let's get into the benchmarks. So before you click away, I have a couple important things to say though. If you didn't tune into the last bit, uh, I did include some important information about pricing and stuff. Um, it's fine if you didn't. Um, I will say though that I'll be doing the 2070, uh, which will probably be the most accurate out of all of these on uh, the series of three, and I'm stopping there because after that you just take three generations down or three models down of the previous generation, and you're looking at what performance will be for this new card. Keep in mind that power performance in this generation is supposed to be extremely high, and um, you should expect to definitely see a lot less power draw. And of course, I hope to God the prices are not the $1,500 like I discussed earlier, because that's going to be insane and. I really cannot see that in the foreseeable future. But if you didn't miss that, you might want to check that out. Otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. I'll be making the 2070 video, and that'll be it. I'll be stopping there, just simply because there's no point. <laughs> but um, after that, yeah, so thank you. If you're interested, check out my channel for those other videos. I also do a lot of computer modding, and I uh, hope to see you around. So thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed. You did, thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. And uh, see you.